Hey guys, welcome to Two Dogs Podcast. I'm Dr. Inky. I'm Dr. Ali here, and we are two doctors who, on a weekly basis, go on our podcast and we talk nothing medical. Generally, yeah. nothing medical. Generally, nothing much mm-hmm. medical. Lots of social issues and things that comes through experience and things that we read. That's right. That's right. That's right. So today we'll hmm. be speaking on something a little bit different. All right. All right. All right. Now. I'm very certain if you go and Google, you know, you 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 open a website, you go and Google, you type in stuff. Uh, how to how to set up a company, you know, how, how? do you start a business. partnership? Yeah, mm. a business, a partnership. partnership. Mm. Then they tell you ways on how to start a partnership. So today we're going to go the other way. Okay, right. Which is <laughs> so today's to topic do- is five terrible ways to start a business partnership. Terrible ways to start. Terrible ways. Terrible ways. Mm. So these are. Advice that you should not take. Okay. <laughs> Today we are giving you advice <laughs> to sp- for you to specifically avoid. <laughs> very good, very good, very good, very good. Something a little bit different. Mm. All right. Okay. So um you and I have been in business yep. with other people, of course. Correct. Right? correct and then correct, uh, correct. uh I'm very certain, you know, because no one taught you how to do business or no one taught us how to do business. So along the way we have encountered issues with business partners. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's right. true. So so for, for me I've encountered a few problems before. Okay. I managed to learn mm-hmm. and then future partnerships I try and avoid those mistakes I've mm-hmm. done. Then but you make new mistakes. That, yeah. Then then you you stand you you end up making other, other form, form of mistakes. Yep. So that the future partnerships again, you know get better you, you and get better. better and better over time. All right. Yeah. 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 So five terrible ways to start a business partnership, I would say number one. All right. The first one is whereby both, or I would say, all the partners do not have the same goal. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. So when you start a business or when you start a company, mm-hmm. you all have individual goals. Okay. Right. So you don't actually have an actual goal. So I'm, I'm, I'm certain if you go to a lot of companies, they have their mission, their vision, mm. and their values. Yep. And all of this is actually to set the groundwork mm. for all the business partners. Yep. So that they all have one same direction, one direction, mm. one goal. All right. right. But even despite having a mission and, and and a vision, the partners must always go back mm-hmm. and revisit the goals from time to time mm-hmm. because because of the hustle and bustle of business. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the goals kind of get diluted or 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 or, or people tend to forget. Yeah, and, and people change. People yeah. change. Environment cause people to to see things differently. Correct. The business would have grown or or, or taken certain directions, correct, correct, correct. and 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 you you would have changed your perspective, um, and hence, along the line, your goals can be a little bit misaligned. Yes, correct, correct. Because once your goals are misaligned, then there's there's usually. Um, that would be the start of a terrible business partnership. Hmm. Generally, that would be a start of a, of a business. That's true, that's true, that's true. When, when, when everyone's got different goals. Yes. All okay. Right. Okay, number two. Number two. If you don't communicate regularly. Ah, right. that is common. That is actually very common it's between very business common. partners. Correct, right? correct, correct. You don't talk regularly. Yep. Either maybe because each You're of busy. you are so busy with your yep. with, with your own role. Yep. Or maybe because there were frictions in between. Yep. Then you start communicating less, less and, and less and less. And less. Correct. Then what happens is that after a while you stop talking. Yep. And 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 this this problem can be compounded when you have more partners. Yes, correct. Uh, when you have more partners, then you form cliques. Yes. You know, two of us uh, are in one clique. The other three are, are neutral, mm-hmm. or, or two of us have a disagreement. The other three are neutral. That disagreement between just two partners can cause a lot of communication fri- uh, friction between um, all the partners. You're right. And and therefore don't talk as much. Uh, another one I want to add in is if your partners are not in the same locality. Ah, mm. that so, can be actually a. Yeah. Quite, quite, so, quite tricky actually. Yeah. So especially nowadays, business is so borderless mm-hmm. and you have partners who are, let's say, from a different state, different country, uh, different time zone. Mm-hmm. It makes communication actually very difficult. Yes, um, that's right. Yeah. And and But I think the, these can be uh, uh, overcome if you practice regular communication mm-hmm. and if there's a, I think, mutual respect whereby when, when you communicate something, you try to answer it as soon as possible. That's true. That's true. That's true. And I think another thing that, especially in communication, it's not only just talking. It's also about voicing out your displeasure. Hmm. As an example, there is something that one business partner is not happy with. Yep. Yep. It's always better to voice it out. Yeah. All right. In uh, in in the meeting. Mm-hmm. All right. It's always better to voice it out early on. As early allow, as possible. Yes, before you allow the the problem to fester until until it becomes either a large problem or becomes hatred. Correct. Correct. Right. Which comes to point number three. Taking things too personally. Yes, um, that's right. So as 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 what Inky just said, once you start to, there's a need to voice out as early as possible. Mm-hmm. If there's a problem, if there's something that needs to be to be uh, resolved, mm-hmm. but a lot of times, um, perhaps 
maybe the Caucasians will do it easier because mm-hmm. that's how they were brought up. True. Um, where else us Asians sometimes we might take uh, this kind of critique yeah. a bit personally. True. A bit personally. I, I, I've been one of those person before so uh, say something that something I felt touchy about it. <sighs> Not nice. But over time you have to learn to get over it that sometimes it's about the business. Yes. It just so happened you are the person in charge of that process. Yes. And, and it's not personal, but it's just an improvement of the business. Yes, that's right. So actually one of the one of the good exercises to actually do with your business or your future business partner is whatever you have discussed in the company or in the boardroom, mm-hmm. all right, whatever feelings that you have of displeasure or un- unhappiness should be left there. Mm. And after when everything is done, mm. all right, everyone go for a nice meal together. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then yeah. after that, then you need to draw a line yep. whereby you no longer talk about business. Correct. You talk Correct. about Everything else. Uh, everything else. Oh. You know, you're about personal, life. you're about life, about everything else. Yeah. So when 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 that happens, then you you can mend whatever displeasure mm. that you have among your partners. Correct, correct. Uh, correct. Then you can then you you you'll be able to bond with them on a more personal level. Then fast forward to the next meeting, then everyone will see things a, a little bit more aligned. Again, this gets tricky, especially since COVID until yes. now, when um, there's less physical meetings. Yes, that's right. Uh, when again, if you're having you're having partners from dif- different regions, mm. you finish the meeting online, then you shut down and you go home with that sour feeling mm, because you've right. not mended things. True. You know, un- unlikely you're going to restart another Zoom session or another yeah. session and say, hey, come, let's talk about... Uh, uh, good days or good times for the next 10 minutes before we, we go back to work. No no one really does that. Yes, yes, but how would right. they do that then? How, how would you suggest? If, if I would say, if let's say you are, it is it is it is quite a distance, mm. right? For people to travel. I would say maybe one of the business partner would have to travel once in a while to meet the other partners. Right? Mm. Like it or not. Like it or not, meeting a person face to face it's no different yeah it's it's you 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 cannot replace that yeah, right there's no yeah. replacement for meeting a person face to face so even as much as you you don't want to travel or mm-hmm. you can't travel you should make an effort to travel to see your business partner right, whether it's an investor mm-hmm. you can be an investor in your company mm-hmm. right, you, you you should meet your investor at least once a month or once every couple of months yeah but if it's your business partner whom you whom you are you're sharing the company with, mm-hmm. you should try and meet this person more often. Yeah. 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 Find a middle ground whereby yeah. boy you can meet, or maybe maybe this month you fly over to, to meet the person, then next month that that, that, that person fly, flies flies mm. in to meet you. Mm. Now I, I think at the minimum, uh, at, at least a quarter or, or, yes, or half at least, you know, at least, if, at least if you're once really far, quarter, if you're really say, far, quarter yeah, will be I would, the best. I would say at least once every quarter. Mm. And if you're in a business whereby you have a lot of partners, mm. yeah, you, you, you have a lot of partners, again, you don't have to meet everyone. Yep. All right. Just have to meet the core people. Yep. All right. The, the very important one. All right. Now, n- number four, I would say it's a little bit, um, uh, some people might agree or, or, or disagree. All right. Uh, one of the, more one of the terrible ways to start a business partnership is when all the partners mm-hmm. have the same skill set, mm-hmm. all right, but they do not complement one another. Ooh. Example, wow. example, doctors. No, so very very simple. A lot of people when they go in business, right, uh. their first business are always with friends. Mm-hmm. Generally, always always with friends, yep. right? Yep. They have the they have the same goals. You know, yep. oh, uh, we have the same ambition, we have the mm-hmm. same goals, and most of the time, right, they came from they come from the same background. Mm-hmm. They're all in finance. Okay, they're all in marketing. Yep, they're all in sales. Yep. Now, problem is when you set up a company, you need someone from mul- from, from different backgrounds. Yep. You can have three business partners all from sales, mm-hmm. but nobody understands numbers, nobody understands finance. Mm-hmm. You can have all three people from operations. Yep. The technical of, side. Yeah, the, the, the technical side. And none of them know how to do marketing. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So one of the downfall where, whereby a lot of people, their first business when they start with their friends, mm-hmm. family or friends, is they all tend to have the same skill set. Mm-hmm. But the problem is the skill set is so narrow mm. that you cannot cover everything else. So now we have to give new meaning. Birds of same feather all fail together. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> fall together. <laughs> same, same, same thing as well. Doctors starting clinics together. Yep. All right. Yep. Yep. They not not, not 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 all of them are into to marketing. Yes, not all of them to market. Everyone thought I just set up a clinic. Mm. I just want to see patients and sit then, there, and the patient will come in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The, the 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 patient will come in. Then after that, then you realize hey, actually there's a lot more I have to do. There is the marketing side. There's the finance, finance side. The yeah. Taxation the part. Taxation part. I have to deal with logistics, mm-hmm. storage of of, of HR. medication, HR mm. as well. So. Word of advice, if you're looking for someone to be a business partner, make sure they have a different skill set than yours. That, when combined together, makes the, makes the company whole. Mm, mm. That's true, that's true, that's true. All right, um, one more. Inability to compromise. Yeah. 
I think um, with, with any partnership, whether is it business or, or, or anything at all, yeah. there must be some amount of compromise. Yeah. So while, while everyone has their values, everyone also has um, their goals, mm -hmm. but you have to somehow come to a compromise, which I think um, a lot of people do, are, are unable to do that in a very finesse or fine way. Yeah. The compromise ends up being a bit of an argument, argumentative end kind of compromise. Yeah, and then more often than not, in a partnership, one person or one party tend to compromise more. Correct. They tend to give in more, more than, the rest. than the others. Mm. So when you give in too much, mm -hmm. after a while, you feel that you're, you're, you've been taken for a fool, mm -hmm. you know, you've been taken for a ride, and then, you know, there's discontent. Yep. And on, on the other side, sometimes when you just take and take and take without giving, mm -hmm. you don't realize yep. that, you, that you take they're, actually taking, yeah, they're actually taking other people for, for granted. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. So if you're one of the partners that has just been giving, you know, mm. giving nonstop, mm -hmm. you have to speak up. Yep. Right? Otherwise, and, otherwise you get a lot of resentment. Yes, yes, yes. Because I've, 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 I've actually seen partnerships whereby one person mm -hmm. works in the in the business full time, All right? Right. It means that let's say they are in a partnership. It's a it's it's an even split mm -hmm. between them. One partner does it, you know, all in. Yeah, all in. Mm. The other partner slacks off. Okay. All right. Okay. Then then the other partner slacks off. But when when the business does well, mm. there's always the then then the, the partner that slacks off takes takes fifty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh. because because he, because he owns fifty percent. Correct. So Correct. then after that, then generally there is there will, there will be discontent. Mm. Mm. All right. There mm. usually there will, there will be some discontent. So there's always compromise. You have you have to give and take. Yeah. Um. It. I think it, this also falls in those whereby they get um, investors as your partner. Ah yes. Ah, you yes, know yes, when yes, when yes. someone funds the business. Yes. And let's say they fund almost everything, mm. and they say I'll give you a thirty percent split. Mm. But the person who took the thirty percent has to be the one that drives the whole business. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So again. Uh, there, you need to be able to compromise. You need to go back to the day when you first started, the value that you first started. When, when, when you sign the agreement that someone else is going to fund you and you're going to take 30% and you have to work 130%, mm. you, can't, you don't really have that right to be resentful. Yes, so the, the, right. the compromise has to be there. Yeah, so before, I think before signing the dotted lines to be business partners, mm. you have to go on a date. Right? Yes. It's like, it's, it's, I think, it's, I think it's, it's like marriage. You know? I think it's longer than a date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually more stressful than 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 than, than an actual marriage, and mm -hmm. sometimes the uh, the fallout is actually worse than an actual marriage. So, Correct. go for a date first. You know, whether whether you're 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 looking for business partners or or, or investors, don't straight away. You know, the, the first person you meet, you sign the the dotted lines and and bring them in as as a business partner. Mm. You know, wine and dine them, <laughs> go out, yeah, go out, talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, a lot of times, you have many rounds of them. I, yeah, and, many and I think that's what a lot of um, these Chinese companies do. Um, I, I was told when they want to even close a deal, mm -hmm. it's like a year of yep. wine and dine. Yep, there's a lot of wine and dine. Or a year of golfing. Yes. Because they want to see how you play the golf. Yes, that's right, that's right. There's, there's no such thing as signing straight up um, immediately when you meet someone. But that's the probably uh, the fallacy of uh, many younger ones mm -hmm. or people who are knowledgeable but lack um, the capability to start a business. And then someone comes in and says, hey, I've got some money. I'd like to invest in you. You seem to be very skillful. That that feeling of, that overwhelmed feeling that someone wants to put yeah. in or to invest into you uh, may make you skip that dating process. True. That's mm. true, that's true, that's true. Well, this, well, we can go on on yeah. and on about this. Yeah, um, you, it, we, it, we've it, already it, given it, six it, actually yeah, more advice. Yeah, exactly. It can be 10, it can be 15, it can be 20 terrible ways of uh, starting a business uh, partnership. But I think this is a good way for you to to uh, reanalyze when you want to start a business. Don't always look at the, 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 the positive, easy way of going yeah. in. You have to look at the other side, the what if side, the, what the, if side. the play the mm. devil's advocate side. Mm. What's the worst case scenario if you're going to start a business with a partner? What are the things you need to watch out for so that you don't fall into bad partnership traps? Mm, that's right. Right. So hope you guys found this session useful. Um, we'll be back again next week. Do hit that subscribe button, like, tell us if you've been in a bad business partnership before mm -hmm. and what happened to you. You don't have to name names. Just what happened to you or what you've learned from those uh, right. lessons that you'd like to share with the rest of us. Right? And with that, we are signing off this week on the Two Docs. I'm Dr. Ali. And I'm Dr. Inky. Have a good weekend.